This is Protocol Radio. We continue with the artist on the phone. And last week uh, I had the um, the honor of talking to the legend Axwell. And this week I'm super, super happy that I could have a quick interview with my buddy Zed. I received his track uh, Adrenaline together with Gray last week. So that seemed like a good moment to give him a call. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. On the phone we have Zed, the one and only Zed. Zed, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing very, very well. We go uh, way back. I remember um, heading to Los Angeles for my real first time in the studio, spending with you, working on a song together. Yeah. And um, from that know. moment, a lot of things changed. <laughs> changed. <laughs> so, so it changed for you. It changed for me. So yeah, tell me a little bit. How you been? A lot of shows, making a lot of music. Yeah. I've been good. I've been busy. You know, probably same as you. Um, made a lot of music we've made a lot of electronic music dance music when it started becoming a big thing yeah and you know after you do the same thing for a long time you kind of try to see what else is out there so you know i've been trying to make something new something different sounding um same with my live shows went through different phases of different productions and trying to make my show special um and which right they are now it's more of the time thank you very much i appreciate you saying that um so now it's more of studio time, trying to write new music for me and for other people. Again, I used to do that a lot more than I did last year. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, so how does that work? You also produce a lot for different artists. Is that um, how does that work? Do the artists come to you, or do you decide just to you have some beats that you want to share with some artists and they sing on it? How does that work? It's it's a good mix of both. Sometimes I make a song for myself that doesn't end up fitting my album or whatever I'm working on, like Beauty and the Beat, for example. And then I basically kind of say, hey, there's a song I made that's available for other people. And then I try it out with different people and give it to the one I think fits best. Yeah. Sometimes people approach me and say they would like me to produce or co-produce a record. Um, and then I do that. And lately, I've just been a little bit more open to doing that again um, and writing music that, you know, I, from the start, know might not sound like that and mm -hmm. then it might be for someone else. And recently, I've made a record that was supposed to go to another artist and um, it ended up actually maybe fitting me. So yeah. it really goes both ways. It goes both ways. Well, I think th sometimes it works out for you both, like uh, the song I Want You To Know, which you've done with Selena Gomez. And I think that's a great mix of electronic right. music and real pop music. So I think you're really ahead of, you very of most of things happening in the industry. Um, Candyman with Aloe Black was something special as well. How did that come about? Well, I've always wanted to work with Aloe Black, but somehow I never got the chance to do that. And Eminem approached me saying, hey, um, we would like you to remix this old Candyman song uh, and make it into something 2016 and we have Aloe Black who would like to sing it yeah. so that was a perfect scenario for me to re-envision the song and we talked about the song and where we want to go with it and once we got in the studio for a few um, a few hours in New York we completely uh, you know changed the course of things and went a different direction than we originally planned and right. um, so you know sometimes you plan on doing one thing and it ends up being something completely different and then uh, Candyman came out. Something, sometimes just things just work out well. <laughs> I can definitely say that this they one do, did. And, I love, and I it love sounds it. so good really mix-wise. We've been listening in the studio <laughs> yesterday to, as a reference, we took Candyman as well to listen to it at different monitor speakers, which were oh, the, right. the PMC uh, MB2 speakers. And it sounded so, so, so I tight. So, um, I don't know. I just wanted Thank to bring it up real much. quick. Talking about Adrenaline, your latest single. Um, I've been listening to it quite quite some time, now, quite a few times now. And I have to say, I have the feeling that the old Z meets the new Z that sound wise I'm not sure if that's correct <laughs> yeah. but that's how it feels and um, is this going to be your new clip song a single or is it going to be a song that you're still looking for for vocals to put on or mix it together or is this going to be like another of your new yeah. clip songs it's, it's just going to be a club song I haven't you know released a real club song in quite a while and uh, I felt like this one didn't really want to have a vocal uh, shave it up in the middle of the song in the breakdown right. shave it up could have been a vocal <laughs> I think that is a good idea. <laughs> but other than that, I felt like the song lives by itself. It's in its own universe. And it, I've been playing out that song for a while, and it's been a huge song live. Yeah. And people have been kind of asking me, and, you know, I've played it for FIFA, and I'm a big FIFA fan. I know you are a big FIFA fan. Yeah, too, we, should, right? we should play one time. Yeah. Please. And they love the song, so they wanted that to be the first song of their soundtrack. So No way. Um, you know, we teamed up with them, and so when we play FIFA... 
maybe that would be adrenaline in the background. That'd be amazing, man. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Zach, um, thank you so much for talking to us on the phone. Um, Anytime, man. Thanks for having me. No, yeah, for sure. And uh, we are going to listen to your brand new track, and maybe you can announce yourself. For sure. Uh, I'm Zed, and this is my brand new song, Adrenaline with Grey. 